Welcome back. Tomorrow, let's play Arcanum. Let's head to Kintara. Let's talk to Raven. Hi. I have something I need to talk with you about. Yes, Virgil. What is it? I have to leave. What? There's something I need to do. Something I should have done a long time ago. What are you talking about, Virgil? Listen, I... I'm sorry things have to be this way. I stayed with you as long as I could. I tried to forget. But it burns within me. It won't leave me alone. I, I have to go to Caledon. If I can, I'll return to you. If not, well, well I wish you the best. Virgil, please, just tell me. Let me help. I, I'm... I'm sorry. I have no choice. I can no longer live with it. I must go and do what must be done. Farewell, living one. Virgil, wait! Forgive me, but I must go. He left. Why did he leave? He left! Oh, you know what, that's it. We're going after him. I had to get away from Sinang because I couldn't teleport there, but we're going after him. We're going to Caledon. And we're also going to wait until morning so you guys can actually see. Oh, Virgil. Also, I forgot to mention, but um, that conversation you have with Mingarod drastically, drastically changes the ent entire rest of the game, depending on what you say. It's where the game completely branches off in two separate paths. I took the uh, good path, since I think it's far more interesting. And um, if you guys want to see the more evil path, I suggest you take it yourself. I just passed where I'm going. But I have no idea where Virgil is, I'm just going in a random location. He's certainly not down here. Huh? Gunshots? Fighting music? Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Virgil. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. We're killing everything. Oh my god, you guys. You guys. Oh man. That's Virgil. Oh god, that's Virgil! He's dead! He's dead, you guys! He Virgil's dead. And I'm out of fatigue. Okay, I Virgil... Virgil's dead. He's dead. Why did he come here? Why? A scroll of resurrect! Oh, perfectly placed. Oh, I'm so glad that it's here. Virgil! Come back to life! Virgil. Greetings, my friend. It seems... Well, it seems we both have come a long way. Who's this guy? Thank you. Thank you for bringing me back. Virgil, what happened here? These men. They were the men who killed my brother, Lawrence. Lawrence was your brother? I had come here tonight to confront my past, once and for all. I knew that it would most certainly lead to my own death, but I just couldn't run from it any longer. Can you tell me the story, Virgil? Yes. It no longer holds any power over me. Before I met you, before I met Joaquin, I was very different. I was a criminal, really. An evil man. There's no other way to say it. And I don't mind admitting it to you now. I lived my life like a dead man. Well, at least in the sense that I used to view such things. I cared very little for anything at all. I lived only from moment to moment. No sense of right or wrong. I stole or lied or even killed with no thought for morality or consequence. And the men I associated with were the same way. Such lives feed upon them. My family moved to Caledon when I was younger. Lawrence and I were close in our early years, but the life I chose to lead as I grew older was repulsive to him. We finally had a falling out. At the time, I didn't care. The dead have no family and remember not their past. This place is a place for the walking dead, a place where men gather to feed their darker sides. I knew it well, too well. I spent a lot of time here, time and money. I also gambled with men who make a living doing so, and one night, I lost more money than I had. I was threatened physically when I couldn't pay, but what is pain to dead men? I laughed and bled and spat on them. It was only then that they threatened to kill my brother if I didn't pay. Of course, I thought it was only a threat, and really, in the end, I didn't feel anything about the matter. 
I'd left all that behind me. Or at least that's what I thought. I can't tell you the pain which tore open my very soul when I found Morris, bleeding and broken. The life gone out of him. I cursed myself and the gods and everything else I had forsaken. And I ran. I ran so far and so fast that I don't remember anything until I woke up on the doorstep of the Pinari Temple, where Joaquin took me in. Yes. And doesn't that seem like so very long ago, Virgil? What? Who are you? I am Elder Joaquin. Joaquin! Yes. It is I. I must apologize. I have been so busy trying to find out who is trying to kill you and why, that I neglect to consider the fact that you might need my help in other matters. But you are alive, and so I rejoice. How did you know where to find us? I'd heard that Virgil was back in Caladon, alone. I feared the worst, as I knew a little more about his past than you did. I've been searching for him for the past week, and only now did I find him. You've changed much, young Virgil. Yes, Joaquin, and I have seen much, but I still remember the lessons you taught me. They have brought me through all of this, even through death itself. I knew from the moment I saw you that you were special somehow. That you were meant for more than the life you left behind. And I see that I was right. The living one could not have chosen a better companion. You will be a powerful ally in the battle to come. What have you been doing, Joaquin? Well, since I left Stillwater, I've been trying to find out if the prophecies say any more about what it is you're supposed to be doing. Unless I've missed something. Aronax hasn't yet returned. What have you found out? Once upon a time. Ah, that is quite a tale. You've done very well. And I think your journey is approaching the end. I hope so. Are you coming with us, Joaquim? No. I think that you are in capable hands. I am no longer needed here. But I'm sure I can find something to keep me busy. Good luck. May the spirit of Nasruddin be with you and guide your path. Farewell. Farewell to you. Virgil, you were saying? I was just saying that I came here tonight to face my past and to avenge my brother whom I betrayed. These men were the men who killed me. I knew that I wouldn't survive, but the weight of his death and my cowardice were too much to bear any longer. And here you found me. Can I ask you a few questions about it, Virgil? Yes. Of course. Tell me, Virgil, was it worth it? Do you feel that weight any less? Yes. I... Well... I saw Lawrence, you see. I saw him on the other side. He didn't really speak, but I felt that he was at peace. That he held no ill will towards me. That lessened my guilt. Allowed me to see that those choices I'd made were made by someone else. Another man. And that I had left that man behind. The other side... Tell me about death, Virgil. What was it like? It was, well, peaceful, I suppose. I remember very little. I have memories of a gray place, warm, silent. There was no pain there, no suffering. And I remember feeling that it was boundless. A place that was no place, not a prison nor a punishment, but freedom without end. You sound as if you enjoyed it somehow. I did, in a strange way. You've no idea what it's like to let go of everything that constitutes our struggles in this life. Pain, greed, envy, guilt. It's liberating, even in its emptiness. I can honestly say that I wanted to come back, to finish what I began with you. That a small part of me wanted very badly to stay. And I think that I carry that great place with me always. A small piece of death. A few more questions. Yes, of course. You should have told me. I would have helped you. I know you would have. But this was a journey that I had to make myself. <laughs> it all sounds so bloody serious, doesn't it? This wise and introspective gibberish doesn't fit me very well. I'll do my best to put a cap on it. But it has changed me for the better. And I thank you once again. A few more questions. Yes, of course. I'm glad you're back. Will you join us again? Yes, of course I will journey with you. As your protector and as your friend. As if I've got a bloody choice. 
Aren't we all just pawns of prophecy? Hmm. And something else. I'm not sure, but I think that something has happened to me as a result of all this. I may be better equipped to face Aranax when the time comes. I'm glad, Virgil. Shall we? Yes. Let us continue on. We've got Virgil back. He's alive. And, uh... Yeah. He's a changed man. If we had taken the evil path, none of this would have ever happened with Virgil. He would actually become very bitter. But again, if you want to see that, you're going to have to play this game yourself. And you should play this game yourself. It's a fantastic game. Anyways, I am Vega. This is Arcanum. And next time, we really head back to Kintara. And we tell Raven of our discoveries. I'll see you then.